So thank you, everybody. My name is Akiba Leesman. I'm the CEO of Mako Mining. We are in the middle of doing three things in northern Nicaragua. Uh, first and foremost, we are building what will be the world's highest grade open pit only mine. Uh, we're approximately 85% done building the 500 ton per day plants that you see on your screen over here. That will be mechanically complete uh, by the end of this calendar year 2020. Uh, in the middle of your screen, you see our dry stack tailing storage facility, which will meet the high end of environmental safety and security. And on the right, you can see our mine, which we started to mine the high grade, uh, releasing results, taking as much as 12 gram fully diluted material out of the mine. Secondly, we made a discovery a few kilometers to the south of our primary San Albino project, an area called Las Conchitas, which we are convinced is a second deposit within our 200 square kilometer land package. The objective there is to continue drilling with a single rig, highlighting the most prospective areas of Las Conchitas, such that when the mine turns on and is in commercial production in early Q2 of next year, we'll have the cash flow to commission at a minimum a 75,000 meter infill program to delineate a maiden resource over at Las Conchitas to demonstrate uh, the economic feasibility of running our plant at 1,000 tons a day which we have been fully permitted to do for the last three weeks. And third, and probably most importantly about MAKO is that we do think that we are sitting on an orogenic gold mining camp, which is very distinct from other geologies that you would find elsewhere in Central America. What also distinguishes MAKO from our junior mining uh, peers is our shareholder structure. We do have a controlling shareholder, Wexford Capital, which owns just under 52% of the fully diluted capital structure of the company and 100% of the $15.15 million of unsecured debt that exists on our current balance sheet to put us in the fully funded status that we are today. The second largest shareholder is an individual out of California and Hawaii named Paul Stevens, who founded the eponymously named Robertson Stevens Investment Bank that was sold to Bank of America. And I am the third largest shareholder, including my shares and in the money options, inclusive of nearly 9 million shares that I've purchased on the open market since Mako was created in November of 2018. Our operating team is run by a person named Jesse Munoz. He and his family used to own and operate a full service engineering procurement and construction management firm. We have onboarded all of his employees and everything from Jesse to mine engineers, metallurgists, exploration geologists have on onboarded as our key operating team to develop our three projects in Northern Nicaragua. San Albino is located in the northern part of Nicaragua and has a colorful history. Back in 1926, a U.S. businessman tried to get San Albino up and running. Six months into the operation, the general manager of the plant hijacked the mine, stole all the gold, and used it to fund the original Nicaraguan revolution. And his name was Augusto Sandino, the namesake of the Sandinistas. This becomes important because this is a culturally significant mining operation to the country of Nicaragua. Everybody is very proud that this project is going to be up and running for the first time in 90 years. Sandino is a folk legend within Nicaragua. You fly down to Managua, it's the General Augusto Sandino International Airport, and we are excited to be part of Nicaragua's old and new history starting in 2021 when the San Albino mine turns on for the first time in 90 years. We are in the midst of redoing the resource estimate and preliminary economic assessment that was laid out in 2015. So over the course of the next few weeks, we will highlight that this indeed is the highest grade open pit only mine in the world. We have hired a very credible group out of Reno, Nevada named Mine Development Associates. And when that resource comes out, it will confirm uh, that we have an extremely high grade open pit mine that we've started to mine, extracting grades as high as nearly 12 grams on, on diluted. 
Our land package as it exists today is approximately 200 square kilometers big. Now to put this in perspective, the resource that's currently being redelineated over at San Albino is currently located on just 300 meters of strike. We have under our control an untested strike potential of nearly 23 kilometers on our land package. So even though we are starting with a relatively small resource over at San Albino, starting with a relatively small plant at 500 tons a day, gradually increasing to 1,000 tons a day by bringing in Las Conchitas, really the exploration potential is what is going to drive the long-term benefit and the longevity of the San Albino Mura orogenic gold mining district. As you can see on this map, Las Conchitas abuts San Albino. Uh, we have currently put in nearly 25,000 meters of drilling over at Las Conchitas since it was first discovered in 2011. Most of that meterage was done after MAKO was created in the end of 2018. And we only have one rig operating over at Las Conchitas right now, putting out exciting results across that part of the land package. However, when our mind turns on, it is our intent to develop Las Conchitas into a mineable resource over the period of approximately two years by requisitioning at a minimum a 75,000 meter infill program such that it can be in mineable form by the end of 2022. Now, what distinguishes our property uh, from most other narrow vein orogenic type ore bodies is simply the dip of our structures. So normally when you're talking about narrow vein uh, mines, you tend to need to extract them through underground mining techniques, which requires a lot of capital to develop not only the plant, but the underground infrastructure in order to access what are normally sub-vertical type vein structures. For our ore body, because the average dip on our veins is anywhere from zero to 30 degrees, it makes it amenable to selective open pit mining, which requires very limited upfront capital to open up the mine, as demonstrated by what we're doing right now, mining grades at our projects that are approaching 12 grams a ton on a fully diluted basis, which makes this by far the highest grade open pit only mine in the world with the potential to expand it into a thousand ton a day operation over the course of the next two and a quarter years. And then to demonstrate that we really are sitting on an orogenic gold mining district. Uh, and with that, I thank you for listening to this presentation.